eliminate these people having access well, to them. That's where we sit right now. No, that's not. They still have access to them. They have access for the time being, but the kids still report to me every time I pick them up negative <clears throat> feedback. What you can do is take those kids out of the middle when all of y'all are together. And if they continue to report things to these counselors that something unhealthy is happening here, then trust me, that system will eliminate these people. They will either change what they're doing or it will eliminate their access to those children. That will happen. I've been in this system long enough to tell you that will happen. Sir, that's, that's, that's their choice. That's their decision that they're right. making. I'm not influencing well, the what system. What are you not understanding that I'm telling you? What, is it, what you, do you think I'm telling you? Okay, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Okay. However, I feel like you blame me on this situation in, in, in some instances. Okay, you, let, me, let me restate it. Erase everything I've said, and I'll say it now. We'll just start from here. I'm telling you, if what you're saying is true, the system will take care of that. What you need to do is make sure you don't put your children in the middle in the meantime. This situation needs a hero. Who better than you? Who better than you to be the bigger man to take your children out of the middle, to bleed the tension from the situation? Be a hero for your children. Yes. Don't you agree with that? <laughs> Who better than you to be the one to be the hero for your children? And if, if what he's saying is true, you got to big problem. And if what he's saying is not true, then it doesn't matter. But if those children, in his absence, are reporting to independent professionals that you two have a chaotic situation that is unhealthy for them, you have an access problem for those kids and it's going to shrink to the point that it's first going to go to supervision only and then to nothing. Interesting. And Just I'm, that simple. I'm, I've been working closely with the children's therapist. And she, she has told me that she does not feel like the children should be removed from my home. She does not feel like my home is unsafe. There, there, are, there are issues with how the children are responding to him. The biggest, the, the only time the kids even talked about Jason with her was during the court proceedings. And then after the court custody had been decided, it's like talk of Jason just went away. You can't blame this on the court. Come on, you need. He, uh, what we're saying is that he's I want to thank my guest today because when we're talking about custody issues and we're talking about family issues, you've got to ask yourself am I putting innocent children in the middle of a crossfire? And look, I, I understand that feelings get really powerful. Feelings get really strong whenever uh, love is involved, whenever we've emotionally invested. It, I mean, it, it really does become a powerful motivator. Our feelings really cause us to see things a certain way. We've got to step back and think, wait a minute. Somebody else is involved here, and the, those somebodies are people that don't get a vote. You know, they don't, I mean, sometimes children would love to just say, Mom, Dad, will you please just shut up? Oh, please just stop talking. Please, let's just be still for a few minutes. Because we just are little, and we just want some peace. And sometimes, if you'll just give that to them, you'll just see them blossom. Thanks for being here. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook. Thanks. So long.